I mean, so this is now best of five territory, and we're going to get a hopefully game five here against uh, Charlie the King versus Chag. Chag coming from Mexico. He's here for Prime Saga, so he's getting the grind on. And we're starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2, Wolf versus Inkling. Yeah. And right now, uh, Chag, Chag, yeah, like you said, he's been going in. He was at MSM where he got third. He wasn't at half, but, you know, he's here at WNF getting ready for Prime Saga. And he's still, he's looking really good, honestly. Yeah, for sure. And Chag already opening up so much damage. And it's so scary when he gets his opponent off stage like that because the backer, it combos into itself. And, it, like, if you catch a double jump, they're just dead. Wolf not having the, like, better recoveries in the game, he, he's definitely going to, like, suffer to that a lot. But another thing about Wolf is that he can also make up this damage really quick. He's already got 30% on the board. Charlie King just needs to find one opening to make the the uh, the deficit back. Oh, but up throw up air clean. Yeah, it's a true combo right there, and it's gonna work out for Chag. Only thirty percent on his first stock. He only got hit like twice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just once he got Charlie off stage, he put so much damage on there. And like you said, Wolf doesn't have the best mix up once someone's actually off stage boxing him and uh, just pushing him off. So he had to take so much damage just to make it back. Yeah. Not only that, but like. Inkling has like one of the superior recoveries in the game. He can definitely contest opponents off stage. An up smash there at the ledge. Such a good option for ledge trapping because it hits so far on both sides that if you space it correctly, you're going to catch a uh, get up attack, a uh, normal get up, and a roll. So many things. And Charlie's yeah. so good at it too. Yeah, and so Chag at the ledge here, 138%. Forward oh, tilt's going to be enough to do it. Right away. Yeah. yeah. Really quick here. option at the ledge right there. Charlie bringing it right back. Only 23% on his stock now. Yeah, this is, like you said, dead even. The second someone gets that hit in, it's going to be a lot of damage right there. Already evening it back up with just two hits. Okay, up, throw, or up tilt into Nair. A nice little combo there from Chag, but he's going to get turned around here. We've got dead even percents. Got Charlie in the roller. Goes for the immediate uh, back air. He didn't really have enough time or didn't react properly to air dodge down uh, into the ground, but... Uh, he didn't. He wouldn't have gotten like too hard of a punish. Maybe like a forward smash to get him off stage at the very least. But at least he got some damage. Yeah, he was trying to go for like that mix-up of uh, back air you, and then if you tech again, he can try to do oh, another yeah, roller. Oh yeah, another that's roller. So that's so, that sucks too. And there's another, another up, up throw up air, man. That's two for two. For Chag right now demonstrating he knows the percentages where that works exactly on Wolf. You got to make sure you get those down as an inkling because once it happens, it just makes your gameplay so much scarier because you know they're not going to mess it up. And if you get grabbed, that's just curtains. Ooh, nice parry into the dash in grab from Charlie. He's at the ledge now on his last stock, but definitely has uh, Chag in a very precarious situation. He charges oh. the up smash. I'm Look. surprised Chag didn't, uh, didn't try to do anything else to contest that. But you know what? Sometimes if you don't know, great double parry, though. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Chag. Really uh, st starting to stack on the percent here on the last stock. That was so <gasps> many Roller. Ooh. Okay, he's going to go for it again. I know Charlie's trying to put on some pressure with the back here, but Chag staying noble, not, not really flinching at that at all. 127% here. He's going to attempt to do the FTL back throw here. Charlie's in a really bad spot now. He's going to toss a laser. Honestly, I, you got to give uh, props to Charlie for throwing lasers as he's recovering. He, he knows he can make it back, but that's just such a scary thing to do. Oh, not going to get far enough for the down smash. I love oh, how... Uh, that should be it. Yep. I love how calm Chag is being. He's waiting for Charlie to do these options. Because Charlie the King, uh, one of those players who kind of will be sporadic, will have those hits, but sometimes will just kind of throw things out as a haymaker. Chag just stood there. He waited for an option and then punished accordingly instead of trying to go immediately for the punish. He was seeing into the future. Yeah, absolutely. And Chag was able to close out that first game with a really solid two stock, actually. Uh, definitely high percentage. Anything could happen if Charlie was able to take off that that, that uh, second stock. But yeah, I was surprised that Nair didn't kill, actually. The one yeah, that Charlie did off. Yeah, I think it needed a little, a little bit more percent. Um, but yeah, here we go. We're going to get into game two. No character switches. I know uh, Chag does have a Palutena, and I was talking to him before the tournament, he uses uh, Palutena mostly for like the heavies and certain projectile characters. Yeah, but, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, actually reflecting the, the Splat Bomb right there. There's an interesting property with it where if you reflect it as it's being thrown at you, the time will be reset, but if you reflect it while it's actually on the ground, the timer won't reset. Huh. I had no idea that was a thing. That's great to know. 
Oh, jab wait. block here. Oh. oh, I love that idea. That was He had the read, but yeah. the timing was just a little bit off. Uh, he got the uh, jab block, dashing back into, uh, read the roll in, put out the roller, but was not able to get the grounding punish. Up till oh my god that upper I'm I'm actually I think that might have killed he, he's at pretty low percent but he was like getting close to the blast zone yeah that that, that would have been really scary for him oh okay Charlie with the really really ballsy nair uh, but he's gonna actually use the up special fire uh, wolf to get back to the stage and take that first stock from Chag yeah, Chag kind of getting a little too greedy there wanting to get the edge guard but I I don't think he had a good idea of what to do and by the time he went down there he was just he'd already gotten hit. All right, great down smash right there. It was a really good option coverage from Chag. Uh, had all his bases covered there. 167% on Charlie now. Still not going to drop this stock. Spacing out these forward airs. If you can get that forward air, he does. He gets two. Okay, not too much damage, oh, but still. Yeah. Charlie's still holding on to the stock, and that's really what's important. Yeah, still to get not, not too much percent on, but it's starting to get there now. Forward airs. Double forward air. And go to the back air read. Ooh, okay, parrying the late the blaster shot really. He didn't die. Down till almost enough to do it. Such a good option by the ledge for uh, Inkling. It hits below the ledge and can catch each of the two frames. So right now, Chag is Ooh. he's getting these hits in, but he's just not killing still. It looks like he's starting to get a little bit flustered, kind of wanting to kill a little too much because he understands that this lead is uh, going away. But he is going to get that back air and. We all know what Inkling can do. Yeah. He gets a couple hits, and this will be even back, just like that. Back air at almost 200%, of course, is going to kill. It. And, and it's it's you can start to see a little bit like why Chag was falling apart on that stock. Because uh, in the first game, he, he got those first two stocks with up throw, up air. And you need a certain percent range to be able to get that. But once your opponent is at a high enough percent, such as Charlie, where he was at like 180, that up throw is no longer going to connect into the up air. So it's going to be a mu much harder time killing. Definitely. Once, uh, once Inkling again gets you past that up throw up air percent, it, it gets considerably harder for Inkling to kill. You have to get that read with the roller, and that's kind of the thing that some Inklings have been saying, like, oh, Inkling isn't that good because he struggles killing unless you get these two specific things. Yeah, and I, I mean, Charlie able to clean up that second stock with the up smash, uh, and it is very difficult. I mean, roller, really great uh, move because if you can land it, it, it. Oh my God. Oh no way! My You're so good. God, <laughs> like, you're so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Charlie. Like he hit that first one, and I was like, I, you know what? I think Inkling's gonna gonna miss that second one. No, no, Charlie, Charlie's clean out there. Absolutely. I and, mean, and, and he had to do that too because like Inkling's recovery is that good. If he didn't die from the first downer spike, he, he would have simply just used the super jump and made it right back to, to the ledge, and that was really the only way like that he was gonna make it back. He he could have gone towards this, like onto the stage if he drifted onto the stage, but I think the position he was in the blast zone, like he was just gonna get hit by that down air no yeah. matter what. It's a great call from Charlie, yeah. evening up one one. Oh, we're moving on three. to game number three, right back to Pokemon Stadium two. Yeah. Don't really see a need for a switch right there. Stage working out really well for both players, and right now Charlie's going in. Oh, oh, great read on that air dodge, able to extend that combo. But, Chag answering back, spacing out these back airs, finds a grab, there's an up throw into Nair, back air, and oh, the I roller! Like oh my god, Chag with the reads too, catching the double jump with the up air. 112% already on Charlie after he had such a strong start. Chag's momentum is crazy right there. Going for the fourth throw, I'm assuming uh, up throw up air was out of that percentage, so right now it's just going to be, he got all this damage, but can he land the kill? He might. I feel like it, maybe if he gets it right now, he might th have the up throw up there, but I'm, I'm not totally sure. Oh, yeah. he wanted. He might have. He, he either got shield poke up. or he got. He got like uh, parried. Yeah. I think he wanted Ooh. to parry. Obviously missed it. Yeah. But up smash gonna take it. Okay, and dead even percent here. It's two stocks apiece. Charlie firing off with the aggression. So is Chag. Oh my God. <laughs> I back here notoriously safe. You can just back here and just run away for free. And Charlie trying to grab right there, like a lot of people do. Yeah, both both players honestly kind of swinging for the hills, uh, just waiting until they land like one hit because they know they can extend into like a nice little string after getting that single hit. Yeah, speaking of strings, Charlie, he had a beautiful string oh. right there. He had so many fairs and up airs. And, oh, it looks so good. 
All right. Oh, another up smash out of shield from Charlie. He's going to get punished. Grab it. Up throw, up air from Chag. I feel like the next one, if he gets another grab, he'll be able to kill. Chag's starting to look for these roller kills. And he's, uh, I mean, another great thing about the roller is that even if you don't necessarily, like, land the roller hit, you, you do ink up the ground. So it's going to make it a harder time for your opponent to maneuver as, like, when you uh, traverse the ink, you, you are slowed down. Definitely. And it'll make, like, some combos that require you to run on the ground actually not yeah. work because you're too slow. Let him flat bomb off. Oh, just barely missed the punish. Oh. Are you gonna die for that? It looked like he DI'd that way too, but I mean, there was no, there was no way he knew. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like he was just trying to uh, fade away yeah. to get the read, and unfortunately, he just was caught. All right, going for the F tilt. That oh. should be it, though. Nice. Yeah, gonna go. Just dash behind, get the easy forward smash punish, and we're down to our last stock here for game number three. Oh, great parry. I love that. Jab's going to get you so much damage. Yeah. Eat you up. Yeah, get the ink on there. Uh, add the damage multiplier. So any hit that Chag gets next is going to do so much more. Mm -hmm. Another jab. More coming. ink. Oh, my God. Yeah, that jab is just extremely good. I mean, it's a multi-hit. So once you land it, you're just you're taking, like, easy 20% and and getting the uh, the debuff. Yeah, you're, you're eating it. Ooh, good Ooh. parry there. Reverse up tilt. Why not? So, so scary. Both these players at a high percent. Charlie gets another read on the ledge. He's going to be able to take that. But again, up throw up air is probably online. Yeah, very true. With Charlie at 96% right here. Both players are uh, in danger of dying. Oh my gosh. Most of the roller. Not going to hit just yet. This is where Charlie gets so scary because he's so, he's so good at covering so many options on the ledge and just making you scared. Yeah, and there is a little bit of like a, a flow. Oh my god! Oh great oh, parry! My god! <laughs> That's what you gotta do, man. I know I said oh my god in the last game, but damn, Charlie's pretty good, bro. <laughs> like he could have done he could have done like the easy thing. Yeah, you know, right. like like parrying that that's like involves dropping your shield. If you drop your shield, oh yeah, that and you miss the timing, you're dead. Like you lose. Right yeah, there. yeah. Charlie had cojones right there. Dude. Like, yeah, but Charlie just that tech god. Oh He's god. always out here trying to optimize things. So honestly, I don't see a reason why I would miss it. That was sweet. Yeah, going so. up to one now. Chad gonna stick with the inkling. Yeah, I don't see. There, there's no reason really to uh, switch it up. One thing I would like to see more is if he can get Charlie off stage and force him to recover a bunch more. He, and he uh, is able to set up traps at the ledge with the splat bomb. Uh, he may be able to get some gimps on Charlie for some early stocks. And that that's where Chag really shines is where he, when he gets that first stock and starts to extend his lead, like he, he's definitely momentum heavy. Mm -hmm. And like, like we saw in the first game, once he got Charlie off stage, or like he's doing right now, he gets so much damage. Oh! Look at this. Oh, it had oh enough time god. to mash out. Oh my god, Charlie did not want to be there. That mash. He's now with the fair, not gonna hit yet. Up slash out of shield, gonna take the first stock. Yeah. Only 30%. Dude, I didn't I, I really didn't realize how good like up smash out of shield is as an option. Like it, it yeah. scoops you up. Yeah, that first <laughs> up smash it'll scoop you up and it's so strong. So if you're even if your opponent's like your your opponent really has to be like careful about their spacing on your shield. It inks you up so much. It uses a lot of ink, which makes sense. Oh my oh, god, there it is. Hard. Yeah, that charge on the up smash definitely what made him kill right there. And only 30% on Charlie right now, so yeah, like we were saying, it's a, it's even. Up throw, up air, Charlie getting a little bit more percentage. Oh no. Oof. All right, good, good stuff to check from, for uh, jumping away there, or jumping over, rather. Hang up the splat bomb. Going for a roller right there. Not going to hit, but it was a good idea. These parries are looking so clean from Charlie. Get some off stage. We're getting... Okay, just going for a splat on again. I like how Charlie's just waiting on the ledge. He knows it's not going to hit him, but up throw up air. Wow. That's going to do it, man. 70% here on Chag's uh, second stock. Trying to make his way into this game five. I want to see it. Nair. Oh, he catches the down smash on the way in, but he gets a really sour hit. If he had the like the like tip hit of the back, and the, like that, that would have killed for sure. But it actually sent him the opposite direction. Right, that was yeah. that was crazy. Well, Charlie putting a bit of pressure off stage, but not wanting to go too far because he knows he could die quickly if he uh, he messes up. That was such a good parry, but 
Not gonna hit the second one. I was that back air? Yes. All right. All right. Forty-five percent. Perry's coming out again. Nair to fair. Oh, that's so scary right there. I mean, like getting sent off stage. Charlie with the uh, immediately pulling the wolf flash to get back on the stage safely. Spacing out with these back airs. I don't even want you to be near me. <gasps> Gets another one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Chag reacting this time, knowing that um, Charlie was able to get out of it last time. <gasps> oh, oh, no. no. Charlie he, bet it all on that. He had the idea. He just barely missed space. And yeah. I love, I, some, that's the thing you have to do sometimes. Sometimes you just, you're right there. You know what your wing condition is, but just barely missing it. I mean, we see Charlie get get that exact combo a lot of the time. Too it, many times. Obviously, it works a lot better when you're stuck up. But like, if if you get the sweet spot on the wolf flash, your opponent dies first. Like, oh, so absolutely. So it's worth if you if you hit it. Yeah, but. we got that innermost hit. Yeah, Charlie beating winners finals now. But Charlie probably just gonna shrug that one off. Oh yeah. He went for something cheeky and it happened. I mean, you can't feel like too bad, right? Like it's like you. You pretty much like in your head, you know, it's like, all right, well, like I won that Someone one. <laughs> like, I won that. I won that game, but just you know, the the game is lying. As it happens in game five here, going back to PS2. Right now, Charlie is going in. He is. He's getting Chag at every corner. Goes to the down there, not gonna hit just yet. Okay. Roller uh, does have some neat little combos uh, if you don't get the, the right hitbox to ground your opponent. Like, mm. as we saw right there, it popped him up and he was Im Im immediately able to react with the uh, jump uh, neutral air. So, it's pretty cool. I mean, as long as you get some sort of hit, you're still going to be getting some damage. Who goes for the jab lock right there, but Charlie get not going to fall prey to that one this time. Okay, clanking together with the uh, aerial attacks. Throwing out the roller again, but not gonna hit. I want to see if uh, Chag is gonna att even attempt to like if he gets a roller right now at this percent, if he's gonna try to combo the uh, down air into the up air. Oh, I'm not sure oh, yeah, which I percentage is it that's true, but it, it is true. I I've, forgot I've about seen that. it. <laughs> yeah, he did that a lot at MSM, and yeah. it looks so good. It looks tight. I mean, it's definitely not an, uh, a very like commonplace inkling combo. <laughs> Definitely. Chasing okay. deep. Oh, oh great Nair. Beautiful Nair. Waiting a little too long with the down smash right there. Charlie going to come back. I'm actually surprised he didn't back her because back her would have killed. Back throw. Back throw. Ooh, not even from across the stage. With Chag sitting at 200%. Getting a lot of mileage out of this stock. But down tilt going to take it. Yeah, once you're at 200, a lot of things are going to kill. Uh, practically up air, any, anything. Away. Ooh, but the godlike DI coming out from Charlie. Not even at 132 is he going to die. Goes to the roller again. Up air. Oh, oh, dude, he didn't even need the roller. He just got down that. air into up air. I'll do it myself. That's, I that's don't a care. combo. God damn. I'll do it myself. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's gave good punish. Here's another up throw up air into the nair. Great. 26% coming out for uh, Chag. And it, it's, it's awesome. It, it puts him in the right position to just kind of like space aerials such as that back air. And it's really safe pressure. Dude, I, I, f I feel like Char Charlie's going to do another Wolf Flash. Dude. He's going to do another fair to Wolf Flash. Oh, if, if he takes this stock. If he takes this stock, he's he's, he's oh, not yeah. content, right? Like if he, he takes that first stock, absolutely. He's going to be looking for the Wolf Flash. He's going he's gonna to try to style. But right now the neutral is just really footsy heavy. Both players don't really want to lose this last stock. Then it'll be your last stock game five. Yeah, everything is on the line for them right now. Yeah, jumping Ooh. away from that. It's like wanna... one of the first down smashes I've seen from Charlie, actually. That might have actually been the second one. <laughs> Not too many, you know. People talk about how busted that move is and just right. goes to show, like, Wolf, pretty good even without it. <laughs> right, Charlie's just been going for other reads and other ways of uh, hitting him. He's more uh, inclined to use that up smash as we've seen when uh, his opponent's on the ledge. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's it, in a way, it's better because, uh, as we mentioned, it, oh, my God. All right. And I'll talk about it after the game. This is getting too close. Charlie's on his last stock. He finds a grab here. Down throw. Yeah, he's going to have to get this ledge guard right here. Not going for an up smash. Jumping over the roller. Oh, oh my god. That was a hard read. Oh, catching the jump with the down air. I mean down air, back air. OK. 
Okay, down throw again from Charlie. He's, He's got Chag back at the ledge. Gonna go for an up smash, maybe? Tries to hit him with the up tilt. Thought he was gonna roll in. Uh, Chag jumping up onto the stage instead. And now Charlie's looking. It looks like he's a bit flushed. But he wants this kill. Down, Down throw, throw again, yeah. He does not. It doesn't look like he's able to kill right now. He's just not going for the things that he would usually do that would catch Chag. Okay, there's We're a back air finally going to do it. 94%. Charlie on his last stock. Chag on healthy stock up air right there. It's getting super dangerous. The next one might even do the trick, oh, especially yeah. if he can combo into it, get a little bit more damage. He needs to make Charlie needs to make sure he doesn't get grabbed. But again, if Charlie gets one hit, I won't lie, that might it, it might be it. Actually though. <laughs> if Charlie he's momentum. looking it for it. Oh, oh my god. Okay, rolls in. Not gonna die, just at 50%. Okay, up throw up air, is he gonna hit it? Wow. No, oh we're not my dying god. yet. Even Chag is surprised. Alright, now this is where it gets scary. Inkling needs that hard <gasps> read. He's gone. I can't believe it. Caught the two frame with the down smash and Chag. I can't believe that hit. Like, by the it was, skin of his teeth. Man. The down slash was already out and like just a bit of pain hit him and he went flying. Whoosh. That's crazy. Chag gonna take that game five like you predicted. Game five super close. Yeah, totally. If Charlie went back to stage, bro, you know he was gonna be looking for that wolf flash. That fair side B. Fair, fair to side to special. It. The hypest combo in the game, if I say so. So, uh, great stuff to Chad. Going to be moving on to Winners Finals. Now we're going to get our other side of Winners Semis. We're going to get quick here from Germany. Number one player versus S2H. You no, know, resident Meta Knight main. Yeah, quick has been uh, doing really, really well in, his, in this bracket. Obviously, sitting here in Winners Semis, he's beat a lot of great players. I think uh, just before this on the stream, he played against Ketchup. Um, I didn't see who else he played, but obviously has done a lot of work. And... Uh, He's the Samus and Zero Suit, Zero Suit Samus. I know he, he mains. He still does play most, Zero Suit Samus? Yeah, he said, he, I asked him and he said he plays.